Kevin? What are you doing? Boy, you guys are learning all my secrets in here now. This is for a new belt. It's actually three belts. On a stand, eight foot in the middle, and then seven foot on one side, and six foot on the other side. So, trying to lay out the, the arc that I want for all three of the arms, well, I gotta have them different heights, the different radius, radii. So, I'm using my big table here. So, I measured out eight foot from the end of the table, that's ground, seven foot, six foot. I got one of my bells here, so I have to put the ring on it, but you can see I already cut the bottom out of it. So this will be my, this will be the big bell that goes on the eight foot tall arm. So I can just slide it right up in here where it needs to be. And then I came up with a way to do it. I came up with a cheater way. I put a clamp down on that end, and I put a piece of stainless steel rod in it, and I clamped a pair of ice grips on the end just so it doesn't squirt out and go flying across the shop. So this is my starting point. And then I just took a couple of welding magnets and used them to use them to hold the other end. So now I can come in here and get whatever kind of curve I want on it and just stick it in there with the magnet and that'll hold the curve. So then I can just come along and trace it out, get my line. I can bend one piece, then I know I just have to come in a set amount, come in four inches, bend another piece on the same, same angle, and I got my arm. Do it two more times, weld it together. It's like having a big piece of sketch pad, you know, you can draw on this whole big table. When you're all done, you just wipe it off and make a new one. So, you know, sometimes people ask me, well, how do you figure out that arc? How do you get that, that whole thing so it looks right? A lot of it happens in here. Move over a little. Move over that way a little. Stand about right behind the bell. You can look and see where the bell is going to hang. And you can see the way the arc is set up in there. And what I was looking for it's just, just that nice, smooth transition. Remember now, this is three different, three different arcs. Just that nice, smooth flow from, from where it goes into the ground at the base. And it kind of opens up a little bit, and it's a little shallower in here. And then it kind of curves, and it gets a little tighter. It gets a little straighter. It goes almost horizontal, so the bell can hang straight down from it, rather than, rather than the bell hanging, you know, back against the, uh, the arc where it doesn't have room to move. This way it can hang more out in the open where it can swing back and forth. A lot of it is just feeling. You know, you look at it and you say, too tight or just right or, oh, that'll never stand up. <laughs> so I'm going to make these three and I'm going to join them kind of in the middle or down towards the base a little bit. The, the three of them on the bottom will be going in three different directions. They'll intersect one another in, in the, the, but the bottom third, and then the three of them will hang up there all by themselves. So it'll be pretty neat looking, that whole junction in there when I get it all put together. Hope that helps. See you next time.